welcome back to day four, my friends, of our 30-day yoga challenge for beginners. So today, I actually have two yoga poses for you. So you're going to get a two for one. And I absolutely love this um, asana. So when you hear me say asana, it means yoga pose um, and, or posture. And so the poses that we're going to do today are cat and cow so you've seen this before i'm sure um but cat cow the sacred names for these is marajasana and bittalasana um but child we're gonna stick with cat cow okay so i have a couple of ways that i'm going to show you this so that it is as comfortable as possible um for you and if you cannot bend your knees and put pressure on your knees and your wrists go ahead and fast forward and check out my modification that i have for you because again yoga is accessible for everybody so to get started i do have a blanket and what we're going to do is we're going to have our blanket set in a uh, folded like a rectangle okay before we transition into a tabletop position or onto our hands and knees, I want to go ahead and offer you our affirmation for today or our mantra. I encourage you to recite this as you're flowing because we have a little bit of a flow since we're putting two poses together. But I want you to recite this. I want you to say it out loud. I want you to say it mentally. I want you to put it in your heart and believe it. So our affirmation or mantra is abundance flows through me. Abundance flows through me. All right, so let's go ahead and transition into a tabletop position, which means we're going to get onto our hands and our knees. If you do not want to use a blanket or a towel, then just disregard this. The posture is, or the alignment is still going to be the same, but I'm going to use it um, just because. And so what we're going to do is just take our blanket or our towel, place it on a mat just like so. And we're going to bring our knees and put them right underneath our hips. So our knees should be right underneath our hips, okay? And then our hands are going to come onto our mat and they should be right underneath our shoulders. Now, if you have some wrist pain, a little trick that you can do is you can take your mat and you can fold it like so and you can put your hands on top of your mat uh give you a little extra cushion or you can bring your hands and just kind of uh angle them a little bit and so the the wrists are on the mat and then the fingertips are on the floater part of the mat so we're at a little bit of an angle so figure out which one works for you I am going to just stay like so. So what we're going to do is we're really going to make sure that our hands are nice and firm and planted into our mat. Open up your fingertips. So spread those fingertips nice and wide to your comfort level. And I have a slight bend in my fingertips so that they're facing forward, okay? This is what is comfortable for me. The more you practice yoga, the more that you're on your hands and your knees, the easier this will become. So do not be discouraged if you are uncomfortable. Keep practicing, okay? So let's go ahead and get into our movement. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale. As we inhale, we're going to lift our chin and we're gonna drop our belly down towards our mat. Our hips are gonna press back. And exhale, press those hands into the mat, bring the chin down to the chest, round out through the back, feel that space in between your shoulder blades, and bring your hips in towards the body. And inhale. Exhale. So this is two yoga poses that we put together for a dynamic stretch.
feel free to keep going do this about three to five times or as much as you would like make sure you're inhaling and exhaling with the movement so every time that chin comes down you're going to exhale and inhale exhale remember abundance flows through me feel your power feel free to pause and keep going here or stay tuned for our modification Cat Cow is an amazing stretch and it's really great if you have any lower back pain, um, any tension in the shoulders, uh, <clears throat> any tension in the shoulders or this upper area. If you're like me and you get a little stressed out, it gets a little tight and just up in this area. So we want to move and lubricate those joints, okay? So if you need the modification or you just want to give it a try because i do both of these okay this works and this is something that you can actually do in the bed as soon as you wake up in the morning you don't even have to get out of your bed you can do what we just did you can do it in your bed or what we're getting ready to do you can do it in your bed okay so if you don't have a lot of time and you still want to get a little stretch in this is going to be your go-to okay so what i did was i folded my blanket in half like so, and I'm going to sit it on my mat. I'm gonna bring my hips and I'm going to place them on my blanket. Notice that my hips are not all the way, my butt is not all the way on this blanket. I just have my hips right here on the tip so that it gives me a little bit of an angle. It takes some of the pressure off of my ankles. Something else you can do is if you have yoga blocks or if you have some books, some good sturdy books, you can place them underneath your knees, thigh area here, and it will lift it up so that this is more accessible and more comfortable for you. So give it a try and it definitely takes the pressure off of our ankles. Less likely for those toes to fall asleep, y'all. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, again, just allow ourselves to get nice and settled here. Exhale, let the air out of our breath. And we're gonna bring um, our hands right here to our knees. And we're gonna do the same fluid movement as we did when we were on our tabletop position. So we're gonna inhale. As we inhale, our chin is going to lift up towards the sky and our chest is gonna come forward, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And exhale, as we exhale, round out through that back, bringing that chin to your chest. Rib cage, belly comes in towards the rib cage. And inhale, chin up, chest forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feel free to keep going, my friends. Um, you can always pause, put some vibes on, put some music on. And if you've been participating in the challenge from day one to day four, consider putting all of the poses together. Starting with day one, you can put all the poses and practice them for a nice little, quick little routine um, and just see how your body feels, okay? But thank you so much for joining me on this journey and I pray that you have a blessed and prosperous day. Namaste, my friend. Remember, abundance flows through you and don't forget it. Mm -hmm.